Hello and thanks for watching. This is just going to be a brief overview video for the procedural civilian sedan asset I have on the Unreal Marketplace. So this is the showcase map that we have here and this is the main uh, blueprint that is included uh, which is BP Interactable and it is a instant static mesh actor so we can select all of these and when we move them they'll regenerate uh, using the construction script. So all of these are interactable and that is sort of the, the trick with this, asset, um, with this asset and what makes it so valuable uh, I believe for your game because you can have thousands of these vehicles on your map uh, with no performance problems um, all while keeping them interactive at the same time which is a huge plus. So we can have a look here, the sound effects and particles set up as well as different foliage variations, 22 different foliage variations for each vehicle. So we can animate them, we can open the doors, we can open the boot. All of these areas are great to put loot in um, for characters to come in and be able to pick up new items and things like that. And the best thing is that while this is all instant, as soon as you interact with it, it becomes a dynamic mesh. So this increases the draw calls, but it will reset itself. So we can go in here and we can set the play reset distance to 1000. We reset the reset check timer to one second. Uh, these guys tick, but only once every five seconds. It's um, nothing that will noticeably affect any performance. And if we set this up here at 1500 as well, I'll show you another little trick that I have in here, which is the proxy mesh generation. So not only are these vehicles instanced, and uh, not only will they clean up after themselves, at a distance they will turn into a single draw call that is only going to cost you a couple of hundred triangles and a 1k texture map. It's incredibly cheap, it's incredibly optimized, and it's incredibly interactive, which is you know, the whole point. You can make unlimited variations and the player is going to be able to interact with them and it's not going to slow down your game um, having a vehicle that has a detailed engine and interior. You know, you can have this high quality model uh, without having to sacrifice performance and that is what I've spent so long trying to achieve with this vehicle and that is what I think many people are going to be happy with. So I will show you um, some of this now. So if we open up all of the doors all of the instant static meshes, they're still there, but they're hidden, they're, they're gone away. Um, they're not costing anything, it's, we're just rendering these extra, these extra dynamic meshes now. So if we go a thousand units away, and I gotta be careful here, there's not a big difference between a thousand and two thousand. The car will reset itself. Now, in your game, you don't want to have it at a thousand units, you want to have it at a much higher dif um, distance, so it's not noticeable to the player, but that's the vehicle resetting itself, it's completely instanced again now. If we keep going further back, the vehicle has now turned into a single draw call uh, proxy mesh, which is incredibly cheap and you can have thousands of these in the background and it's not going to cause any problems to your frame rate. They will just instance like a tree or a bit of grass, uh, except there's no masking, it's a completely opaque mesh, it's very very cheap. So that is uh, the optimization basically summed up really quickly so the default values are much more reasonable you don't want to be checking every second you don't need to check that often um, or anything like that so eventually this is going to be all replicated and support multiplayer currently it's not but that is coming so not only are these all interactive not only do they instance and not only do they turn into proxy meshes uh, they are also usable as foliage uh, actors in Unreal, in, in Unreal Engine 4.25 and above, they added tools to uh, have procedural foliage actors. So it's the same as any other foliage type, except instead of referencing a mesh, you reference a, a blueprint actor. So we can reference the vehicle here, and if we drag it in and we paint a few different variations, you can imagine just how quick this is going to be to fill your level. Um, unfortunately, you still have to do a little bit of manual collision detection, but let's go in now and have a look. We've just spawned all of these new vehicles, and they are all interactive, and they're all going to clean themselves up. Okay, so the final thing to show off is, this isn't a mistake, the doors can spawn with random paint. That is a procedural option, um, and you can set the chance that, that is going to happen. So this guy has had some bad luck with his doors in the past to end up with, with two different paint jobs. But what I want to show off here quickly is the fact that you can shoot off some of the, uh, the parts of the vehicle. So we can shoot off the side mirrors, 
we can shoot off the antenna and we can also shoot off and I really need a crosshair because you need some pretty good accuracy to hit them but you can also shoot off the windscreen wipers so yeah the car has some destructible components as well uh, the update coming in May will make the glass destructible uh, but I am just waiting to see on how the other vehicles uh, end up turning out before I settle on the uh, the glass destruction system that I want to that I want to use going forwards. So yeah, that's the destruction briefly. All right, so the vehicle is also drivable as well, but at the moment it is not quite game ready. So this thing is fully rigged. There is a complete skeleton. It's got everything you need to make it drivable, um, and the rig is fairly detailed as well. Uh, you can even move the head of the gear stick around. Um, so if you want to animate the, uh, the gear stick movement, that is going to be possible. Um, the steering wheel is also um, also rigged, skinned I should say, and so are all of the doors and the hood and the boot and all of that good stuff. So the, the vehicle rig is actually quite flexible and I am currently working on making this completely animated and completely set up to be game ready. Uh, but currently we just have the demo, so the the wheels don't move, nothing moves, but you can't move the camera, so you can't actually tell that the uh, the wheels don't move. So you have a nice nice little drivable demo here, you can push tab to look in the interior. Uh, the driving is actually kind of fun, but it's just based on the uh, the basic assets provided by Unreal, so I'm not doing anything too fancy myself here, but uh, I will be releasing something uh, before the end of April so keep an eye out for that uh, this asset is just going to keep improving over time and there is a roadmap on the description page and not only can we paint the uh, the foliage actors in like we would any other foliage mesh we can also use the procedural foliage tools so if you have like a huge stretch of highway or you know you've got a massive map that you want to fill with these vehicles uh, you can do so very very quickly simply by using the uh, the, the procedural foliage so I'll just change the seed there and we'll re-simulate and just like that all of these vehicles are regenerated um, they are instance they are cheap and they are still interactive so you can very very quickly fill up your map um, by doing this and yeah again that's in 4.25 and above so the proxy meshes um, and the materials you can generate as many different paint variations as you want uh, the master materials are quite flexible so you can change the, the tint of the paint so we can see that green card down there and just like that because of the way it is masked you are only ever going to change the paint of the car itself so you can make any variation that you want and it's really easy to make new proxy mesh variations as well so that the material matches I have a map on that as well and that is something that is worth going through in either the PDF documentation or the specific tutorial because it's a little bit technical but it's um, it's quite easy to do it's only a few steps and the benefits it provides are immense basically so it's uh, definitely worth your time Anyway, that just about sums up the video, so thanks very much for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoy using this asset as much as I did making it. And yeah, let me know if you have any questions. I'll be around on Discord. Thanks very much, guys. Bye.